Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be covering back on our Roku device, Roku TV, Roku TV stick, whichever you want to use. There are multiple, I mean multiple hidden or you could say secret menus. As you'll see on the screen now we've got platform secret screen. There's about five or six different hidden menus which you can use to do different things on your device, whether it's control ads and change it. We're going to run through a load of them on this video. So before we do that, if you are into Roku devices, do remember, hit that subscribe button, check out the channel. We're bringing more regular Roku videos as well as our other streaming videos now where we cover movies, TV shows, how to add things, watch things, tips, tricks, etc. And if you're a regular watcher, do watch through. It should be quite interesting to watch and would appreciate the support on the video. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's get out of this secret menu and let me show you how to open up some secret menus. This is the home screen on your Roku device and to get in these secret menus you will need your remote. Um, there's a few different codes to use. Um, do try and play along with me if you can or come back and watch this video later to give it a try. I'm going to take myself off screen for the first one. We're going to open up the images and add menu. So let me get out the way. So what we're going to do on this one to open up this menu you need to push the home button five times then up, right, down, left, up. And there we have it. This is a secret screen too, it's for the images and add menus. So you can see down there where you can do different things. Yours may be slightly different to mine, depending on the video. Um, there's a few other things here where it changes how you can cycle your image service, whether you want to or not. Don't get me wrong, don't change anything if you don't know what it is. These are menus where you can change stuff you might like. Um, for me, I don't know too much about all of them. And I'm not on this video telling you what to change, but it might be something you're interested in. So you've got cycle scrollable ads. So if you don't want your ads to be cyclable, so when you scroll through, um, you can disable them, which is not a bad one to disable. Or default, just leave it as it was. Your choice. Cycle screenshot. Cycle ad channel. Home screen and banner server. You know, it's all about how things change. This is just one of the many menus. Cycle gaming remote auto pairing. Cycle gaming remote auto update. Your log info. Reset refresh. And you can obviously cancel out of this one. Again, maybe useful for you. But who am I? Right, that's the first one done. Next one. Let's have a look at our wireless. Our wireless secret menu. So, again, we push the home button five times. Up, down, up, down, up. And here we have it, wireless secret menu. This will actually tell you about the strength of your wireless. So you can see the glitch rate on mine, the antenna, um, the strength of it as well. So my wireless signal is pretty good there. It will tell you what channel you are on, everything like that. You can do AP speed test if you want to. Um, you can check the logs or you can reset it as well. It's very good to see because if you came in here and your strength is really low, this might be why you are struggling on your device, maybe you're having any interference, whether you're getting some buffering on whatever you are watching. A great little menu there, again, if you want to check some of these out. Okay, so next up, we're going to look at the update and the reset menu. So for the update and reset menu, let me get out of the way. We have home times five, fast forward times three, and rewind times two. In here, you can factory reset, cycle channel store server, cycle software update server, and update software. So again, it will have a look, see if you've got an update now or later. I've actually got one where I can update. I will do it later. Um, factory reset if you want to clear through and get rid of everything. I don't recommend that one unless you're having issues. Um, again, these ones, there's a few different things in there. Just be careful what you push. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, but it is very useful and it just runs the little updates for you. But again, as you see, I've got an update, but I will do my one later. Okay, let's do one more and then I'm going to put the rest of them in the description under this video. Okay, so this one is channel info secret menu. It is home times free, up twice really fast, left, right, left, right, 
left. And as you see, this one's got a lot of information in it. This has got the channel info for your device, and it has all the versions for all the apps you are using, and all the apps which are on there. And there's a lot of content in this one, okay? It will tell you which devices, which channel ID, which version, everything like that you are using. There's a lot of content in here. It tells you about your Roku channels, your Tubi, um, your Voodoo, your AirPlay, your Disney Plus, all in there, all on one device. Brilliant. Again, I hope they were useful for you. If any of them were a bit confusing, I will link them underneath. Obviously, do not go changing things you don't know what you're doing. Okay, if there's anything you wonder what it is, type it into Google, comment underneath in the description underneath for you as well, and we will try and answer that question for you. I have put a few more in the description underneath this video. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine altogether, plus, um, they're all under there for you. Quickly, before we leave, I want to give a quick shout out to Triple M. Triple M is another YouTuber where I saw this content. Great video, great description, and I saw these tips and tricks, and I thought, I know what, my followers are going to enjoy these as well. So do check out Triple M on YouTube. Great YouTuber, does lots of stuff regarding streaming as well. Okay, so we're going to get out of this one. Do remember to hit that subscribe button. If anybody is after a VPN to keep yourself safe, a quick word from one of our partners, IP Vanish VPN is also linked directly underneath for you. This should hopefully keep you safe online on all your devices and all your streaming content as well. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.